So uh, before we joined CBA, our practice, which I thought was doing okay, um, we were seeing about 70 people a week. I thought we were seeing about 100. Um, but we were living paycheck to paycheck and we weren't getting ahead. We didn't have any savings. It felt like we had plateaued, you know, there was, we had no marketer. I was the receptionist and my husband and I just did everything ourselves. And um, it was really just one of those moments before we joined CBA of we're going to take this opportunity and we're going to make it work for us. And if we can't make it work, we're never going to make it work. And it was, I wouldn't necessarily say a leap of faith, but we became very invested. Um, you know, we had a lot of financial issues. We definitely had many, many financial emergencies. We owed a lot of back taxes. Um, you know, we couldn't afford any other staff members and I wasn't even on payroll. So it was just one of those moments where it was, we need to take this opportunity and make it work for us and run with it. And we did and it has been amazing ever since. My husband and I had been with various other practice management groups and um, the way that they worked was, you know, you get a phone call once a week from whoever your consultant is and it was kind of like a lot of rah-rah, you know, chiropractic this and a lot of philosophy and we have the philosophy. We know we live that lifestyle and it was, you know, giving an already really busy doctor who's functioning on his own and you know the just the two of us were running the business a lot of homework to do so like you know what are your goals and you write down five goals did you achieve those goals the next week but not giving you the steps on how to actually make those goals a reality so with CBA it literally became a it is a step by step process with saying what your goals are like you know we had our first we had our first meeting and we did our strategic plan and we were upfront out and open with exactly the situation that we were in it was very humiliating but we knew that if we wanted to be at a certain point we had to be honest about where we were and what realistic goals we wanted to set for ourselves in the next three months and we were given a strategic plan that made those goals very very attainable it was you know in in three months we want to see a hundred patients it's, I don't remember if that was the actual goal, but it was, you know, some simple attainable things. And it was literally attain 100 or start seeing 100 patients. This is exactly how you're going to do it. A, B, C, and D. Bang. So I literally had my strategic plan on my desk. I looked at it every single day. And as I did each individual thing, I just crossed it off. And it was, there was no, you know, gimmicks or fine print or, you know, oh, you didn't do this. No one told you to do this. It was, this is what it is. This is how you're going to get there. You set your own goals according to your own practice, what kind of practice you want. They don't tell you how, you know, you should be running your practice or how you should be treating. And <clears throat> they literally just make it a reality for you that you can do what you want to do. And the support system again i will say it 150 times the support system and the constant meeting and people of care people caring whether or not you're doing well and constantly checking up on you to make sure that you're being held accountable for the things that need to be done in your practice it just happens on a daily basis and it really really helped us to grow our practice and it, it that's that is my favorite part to this day about cba is the amazing support and and step-by-step -step processes we get to make our goals a reality one of the first things that we actually saw came come to fruition was um, I had taken the receptionist course myself. That was the very first course I took, very first thing I did. And immediately after I finished that course, um, I felt so empowered and actually going into that course, I didn't think I could learn anything more than I already knew because I thought I was really good at it. And I was really good at it, but I did not have the systems in place. And I was, I felt so confident and so competent about being able to go out and properly hire the right receptionist and train her and have all of the systems implemented that I had just learned and be able to have that on her and be able to give her that information so that she could push forward with it. And that was our first real experience with like, wow, we can do this. This is actually happening for us. And that gave me the opportunity to step away from the front desk and start working on other areas of the business. So then I was able to take the marketing course and I didn't think that we could afford a marketer. Like it barely, you know, we were still at this point, like, okay, we're, we're hiring a receptionist, that's more money. 
I was the receptionist, I wasn't costing anything. And we were really, really stressed out about being able to do that. And CBA, one of the things that they taught us was to implement a bonus system with all of our employees and putting my receptionist on her salary and then put her on her hourly and then putting her in place with a bonus system. She totally rocked the house because she saw that little glimpse of hope that I can make more money if I just do this and if I do this. And I had all of those systems in place for her to be able to do that. When we hired the marketer, I was really worried that we weren't gonna be able to afford. We had never had staff. I didn't even know at that point, can I even manage a staff? And when I got our marketer hired and properly trained, that gave me another, it, my husband and I have so much confidence to be able to go out and realize we can start working on our practice instead of working for our practice. And that was a really, really big boost of confidence for us. And to tell you the truth at that point, our practice just grew. We hired a treating doctor, we hired two back office CAs, we hired a biller, we had another company coming in doing other testing and all these things that we thought we could never ever ever do that we were never capable of doing, they just started happening. And with the training that we got and with my staff being fully, fully trained in their post and I'm me not having to worry about them except their you know five to ten minute check-ins every day just really gave us the ability and took so much emotional stress off of us to be able to just go in and work on our business and let other people get the work done for us, which was really great. So when we started with CBA a year and a half ago, we were at 70 patient visits a week and maybe one new patient for a referral every now and then, you know, so we stayed pretty stagnant. Thankfully, we did have good patient retention at the time, but that's not gonna keep your practice growing. And from the training that we received, we were able to understand how easy it was that you bring in, your staff brings in X amount of new patients per week equals X amount of patient visits per week equals growth. And it, it literally just happened. Like I, everyone says, you know, there's no way it just happened. It did, it just happened. You know, I had my marketer fully had it. I had my receptionist knowing that her product was stay, keeping people on their treatment programs. And my training enabled me to drill her on those things so that she could come in and make sure people were staying on their treatment programs. And right now, our, after a year, a little over a year, we went from 70 patient visits to 200. And our collections went from about $16,000 a month. And now we, our highest ever we hit was 80,000 in a month. So, um, and you know, just with training and just, just being and doing exactly who we, we wanted to be and do exactly what we wanted to do. And life has just gotten so much easier so much easier.